Uh, uh, Melissa, one of the reasons, I'm, uh, the main reason I'm having you on today, there's going to be a decision made by the Taxi and Limousine Commission coming up this week, I believe on Thursday, December 13th, that will change the industry just as the credit card changed the yellow cab industry. And as far as I, I go as far back, I remember how the power windows changed the industry, that I didn't have to get out of the car and go to the back seat and roll up the windows. But this will be financially a benefit to both passengers and drivers. There is going to be a new app, or hopefully new apps will be coming out. And Melissa could talk about one that's called Halo. Uh, about that they will be voting on this Wednesday. What is, oh, Thursday. What, what does this app exactly do for the drivers and for the passengers? Um, well, the, the, what they're voting on on Thursday is the e-hailing regulations that the TLC proposed. Uh, they put forth regulations right before Sandy hit um, to allow and govern smartphone applications in taxis that will allow passengers to uh, ha basically virtually hail a cab by tapping one button on their phone and allowing uh, taxi drivers to accept the hail in the same manner by tapping a button on their smartphone. Um, Halo is one of these providers. I, um, I've been working with them since the summer um, because what they're doing, they're, they're out in London already. About 9,000 uh, London taxi drivers are using Halo every single day. Uh, and now it's uh, been expanding into Dublin, um, Toronto, Boston, Chicago. And hopefully after Thursday, um, we can look forward to it coming to New York. And what Halo does is it really focuses on both sides of the equation, on the driver and the passenger, uh, and basically lifting the industry from both sides. Um, so right now, Halo provides just a toolkit for taxi drivers to use uh, apart from e-hailing where taxi drivers can see where traffic is, where crowds of people looking for taxis are. Uh, they can see the airport status uh, in the taxi lots where taxis go and wait um, before they pick up passengers. And then after Thursday, if the TLC votes yes, which obviously... Me and my colleagues and my taxi brothers and sister, maybe, <laughs> or two, um, and I think everybody and, and the passengers in New York City were all sort of excited and hoping that the TLC, you know, it, it, you know follows through with this and really um, votes yes and lets e-hailing finally come to New York City. Now, Melissa, um, you, you've seen it in action. You were in London. What was it like? Uh, it was, I mean, it might be a little dramatic, but it was pretty magical. <laughs> uh, not to, you know, not to get too dramatic about it, but it was, you know, it's, you're, you're having the exact same experience in London as a passenger, and certainly it's very similar as a driver, um, where, you know, a passenger goes on the street and they lift up, they lift up their arm, and a taxi comes and, you know, pulls over for them, you get in, the meter goes on, etc. Now, Passengers and drivers in London experience the same problems of, you know, late at night, hard to find a cab, late at night for the taxi driver, hard to find a passenger, it's hard to just sort of match up. Um, and so, you know, when, when I was in London, I used Halo as a passenger, and it, it, it's really kind of incredible. You tap a, one button on your smartphone, and something in the real world happens. You know, a, a, usually a guy behind the wheel of a cab pulls up to you and says, hey, you, you know, uh, you hailed me using Halo. Yes, I did, and you get in. And so I did this several times, and sometimes I did a little bit of, like, secret shopper and pretended like I didn't know too much about Halo just to sort of get an, uh, you know, an unguarded opinion from the cab drivers. And 100% of them were completely obsessed with it. And it. You know, they said it fills their downtime. It's, you know, padded out their income. It's lifted and elevated their relationship with passengers and you know and in new york city talking to drivers here the drivers here by and large really want this and talking to passengers here they're so excited about the possibility of being able to do this already you know people who are taxi passengers and smartphone users in new york are buying movie tickets through their their iphones and androids they're reserving tables at restaurants through their phones and it's just the logical extension of being able to hail a taxi just to a simple tap through your smartphone um, in New York City, of all places. This, I, I mean, I wish it was already here, but I'm glad that the TLC is moving forward with this. And 
uh, you know, it's it's my you know my very big hope that they all the commissioners vote yes um, and recognize that you know everybody in, involved on both sides of the equation in the yellow taxi industry really wants this. And Melissa, one of the benefits for passengers and and you yourself and me, our passengers, when we're not driving, is that yeah. when the Halo app is accepted, that driver has to take you to your destination. You live in Brooklyn, I live in Queens. They have to go there. If they don't the application halo will throw them off the app for refusing to take you so it'll be a great benefit to people that live in the bronx brooklyn and queens that once your app uh is accepted your e-hail that that driver has to take you so that'll take a lot of the hassle standing on the street driver telling you i don't go to brooklyn i don't do queens that <laughs> that that'll do away with that and that'll be a a, a huge benefit for passengers well there's there's another piece of that too so yeah i, I think everybody uh you know there many people have experienced refusals for one reason or another and it's you know it's plagued the industry and uh and it's it, frankly it's plagued the tlc on how to solve this problem it's so it's so hard to tackle um and so one thing that halo and hopefully the other apps like it can solve for is you know you don't if you're a taxi driver and you get me hell you have no idea what that person looks like and where they're going and how much the fare will be etc and so once you accept that that's a commitment and if you pull up and take a look at the person and say oh for one horrible reason or another i'm not going to take them that's all sort of that's recorded now there's no more he said she said uh in you know in the taxi court um it's more like hey this this guy refused to take me you know once i told him i was going to brooklyn or whatever um and so now that's all recorded and hopefully that'll really sort of tamp down that practice and the other piece of it which is really cool is that the accept it enables accessible um hail so right now we only have 235 or so uh, accessible taxis in New York City. Um, so it's just a small fraction. But if you are, if you need an accessible taxi, you can use Halo and, you know, indicate that you are an accessible passenger. The taxi driver will not see that, but you will only be matched with an accessible taxi um, if one's near you. Of course, this is only a close-in-time encounter. So whenever you press pick me up here on your app, um, it will only go out to taxis that are very, very close to you. It's basically just an extension of the arm. Um, it's making your arm maybe like a block or two longer than it is right now. Uh, uh, and a nice, a, a nice electronic so, arm, <laughs> yes. Yeah, a long, a long electronic arm, but it's not too long where you're hailing a taxi from more than five or ten blocks away to come get you because that just wouldn't work here. Um, but for the accessible passengers, I think this would be really great because they can just tap pick me up here, and if there's an accessible cab nearby, that cab will get the alert um, and hopefully accept it without knowing what's on the other end once again. And this way, uh, those two groups can be matched much more efficiently than, you know, some poor soul having to try and try their luck on the street. And, you know, 235 out of about 13 plus thousand is you know, pretty tough odds when you're on the sidewalks. All anymore. right, now, this uh, December 13th, the TLC are voting on it. How can drivers, uh, where is the hearing, and how can drivers sign up for the app? So the hearing is, yeah, the 13th, 9 a.m. It's uh, The TLC, I know, suffered also during Sandy, so I think that their, their normal um, building is still a little bit iffy with the electricity, uh, from my understanding. I could be wrong about that, but... So it's at 22 Reed Street, uh, Specter Hall. Uh, I think that's just right off of Broadway and just north of City Hall. Um, and so, uh, you know, my, you know, I hope that all the drivers who can, you know, stop for a second if, if they're working and just come and show their support for this, I hope that everybody will show up, uh, you know, just to show the TLC that this is something that everybody wants. Um, and to sign up for Halo now and just to get this other toolkit before the e-hails come through and to be among the first to accept the e-hails when they do come through, you can go to www.halocab, so that's H-A-I-L-O-C-A-B dot com slash N-Y-C slash drivers. Um, or you can just Google Halo, H-A-I-L-O, and probably put an NYC and you'll find it, uh, whichever is easiest. But, 
you know, I'm looking forward to Thursday, and, uh, you know, my hope is that this goes through and New York can take another step into the future. All right, thank you. And that's Melissa Plout talking about the vote that's coming up at the Taxi and Limousine Commission on Thursday at 22 Reed Street at 9 a.m. If you want to come down and support uh, yellow cab drivers coming into the 21st century, please come down and do that because it's going to benefit both drivers and passengers.